So let's take a look at how to read JSON file in Kotlin programming language. So I have one JSON file in directory sample.json. Also, I have created one uh, Kotlin file with extension .kt and name hello. Okay, so I'm going to open text editor such as Visual Studio Code. And here, first thing that I'm going to do is import Java dot io dot file okay to run this make sure that you have java which you can check with java double dash version also for kotlin you can check kotlin c then dash help okay so if you can run both these commands and get some command line output then you can say that you be able to execute the code explained in the video Okay, so let me clear the buffer. And next thing is to create our main function. Here I'm going to type in arguments string. And next thing is to have a try block so that we can catch the errors. And here I can create file name. And here I'm going to type in sample.json. Next day it's creating variables named lines, which is basically going to be a string list. Okay, then I'm going to check file name and read lines. Okay, and then we are going to output those lines with for each loop and you can basically get a line at a time and use println to print that line okay so pretty much we have everything in try block then for catch block we are going to get exception okay and inside that we are going to use e dot print stack trace okay and after that in finally block you can have like say print ln and here i'm going to print json file read completed Okay, so this should be the last line that should be printed regardless whether our try block executes or catch block finds some error and exit from try block. Okay, so let's check everything is properly enclosed. Okay, and now open command prompt here type in Kotlin C which is for compiler then hello.kt for our file then include then dash runtime then dash t and then hello dot jar okay this should compile your kotlin file into java jar file if there are any errors then it should be shown here then we can make modification within our source file okay as you can see there are no errors that means we can execute java dash char then hello dot char and as you can see it managed to read our json file which contains the json data that shows so this was short demo on how to read json file and display the output on command prompt